We're here in Amsterdam at the Changes event and we're here with uh, Pillar. Uh, the first question, could you please introduce yourself? What do you do with Pillar? Sure. Hi, I'm uh, Tomer. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of the Pillar project. And I had uh, at Pillar everything that has to do with business development, partnerships, uh, alliances, etc. Et Maybe for the, the, the broad audience, what does Pillar do in a few sentences? Sure. So Pillar is, uh, the project is about creating a personal data locker that will become the gateway of your digital life. Uh, as well as your personal assistant. So we want to help you take back your data. Mm -hmm. uh, the data, whether we like it or not, doesn't belong to us today. So it's, uh, it belongs to various organizations around them in the current system. And we want to help users using also GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation that is coming into effect this month. Uh, so we want to help users take back your, their data uh, and put on a decentralized system uh, that is redundant without any single point of failure, their entire personal information uh, and help this personal data locker become also uh, eventually replace accounts because today we have too many accounts. Each, any of, e, e, each one of them is a really a single point of failure as well replace the notion of apps with services. So basically offers can come to you while you are in the center instead of going out there into various services and apps and have a much better discovery from that. So it's really about creating a system that is significantly changing how data is owned and exchanged and consumed. And what will be like the interface, the user interface for me or other consumers? Uh, it will be web-based or how, uh, yeah, of course, blockchain-based, but how does the uh, interface look like? So, so it's, uh, it's a great question. We, first of all, we are going to begin, we have to begin uh, in the current system, so we're going to begin as an app inside Android and iOS, but eventually we will grow, we will grow to become, I hope, uh, very soon toward the end of the summer, a platform where services releasing the software development kit, the SDK, and services can start tying their services into the pillar platform and build businesses on top of their pillar platform, which is a foundation, it's an open source project, it's a gift to the world. And we, we, what we really want to do eventually is to combine three things. To combine the notion of a wallet, the browser, and the operating system in one pillar. So it's really about creating this personal data locker that will become your gateway for everything. And you want this to happen. You, want, you will have your data in your watch, in your phone, in your, in your glasses, in your car, in your fridge, in your toaster. I don't know where. <laughs> Because you would want that it's going to be your data and it's going to be secured, redundant on the blockchain without any single point of failure. It is Bill, is it what kind of blockchain is built? Do you want to build your own blockchain or now it's built on Ethereum? Or? No, absolutely. We, we are absolutely blockchain agnostic. So we're going to work with all blockchain by definition in the very DNA of, of Pillar. We are interested in being the gateway to the users. Uh, so we want to replace the current system of iOS and Android and eventually uh, bring an alternative to that. But we're going to work with a various type of blockchain, not only with Ethereum, but also with other blockchain. And we're in discussion with, in many of them. Many of them, we have, you have very good solutions out there, very good infrastructure projects out there, but also with various identity protocols and various storage uh, protocols. So these are the things that we want to keep uh, a choice for the users uh, to be able to choose whatever they whatever they want basically so actually you're the platform where all the technologies come together uh, in the end I couldn't say it better so <laughs> maybe you want to work for pillar uh, <laughs> the idea is really the idea is really to create a system where effectively all, all technologies come together and that the user don't need to think that they're using blockchain my mother doesn't know about blockchain she never will that that's not the purpose but she she needs to know that she has a system that is secure that is hers and that at the same time helps her to manage the data because managing the data is a tough is a, is a tough job it's very time consuming and we need to create a system that is helps the users uh, uh, manage the data at the same time that they own their data that's that's what the pillar project is about one of the key, uh, key areas is, of course, uh, the safety, security. I mean, we have these big corporations, uh, also cloud, cloud providers, they're also doing a job on security. How, how secure is your solution? 
So it's uh, security is uh, is uh, not only not only part of our DNA, but the vast majority of our resources are going to be invested in the security. So we have security teams that we're putting together in the best uh, locations around the world, where the the vast majority of the security teams are located. One of them is Israel, for example. Uh, we're all opening a, a security center in Israel to secure the, the the pillar platform. Not only the pillar platform, but the pillar ecosystem as well to really create a place that is safe and secure and instead of of having the current system where user put their data with companies that are investing a fraction of their resources on security pillar is going to invest a vast majority on, on on that on safety and security because you're right it's 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 all about that we see a lot of for example one of the first thing that we're going to launch with the with the ICO wallet that we're releasing is a, it's a, it's a wallet uh, that helps you basically contribute into ICO, we're pushing a lot of securities. Only in 2017, 10 to 15% of the ICOs were hacked, were fished. So we're talking about gigantic problem that needs to be solved. If this industry need, will go mainstream, we will need to have solution that brings it to to you know to the mainstream and uh, and you know really provide solutions that are safe, secure, and also regulated. Yeah, one last question. I mean, for instance, I use my Ether wallet, but sometimes, yeah, you get stories or it got hacked actually last week, a DNS uh, attack. Uh, oh, lots of people have tokens over there, so actually we need an alternative, a good alternative for it. Sure. I mean, uh, my Ether wallet, we have also used uh, my Ether wallet uh, in, during, during the, the ICO. It was a very scary process. Uh, so there are a lot of things that my Ether wallet has done correctly, but we need to recreate the system and first of all make it much more simple. So we are doing a lot of things inside the wallet and inside the ecosystem that will make user for, first of all connect with each other. You don't need to cut and paste those those addresses and those you know keys. You need to connect by name. You need to connect in server in in, in ways that are you know simple for people without making fat fingers you know mistakes and fat finger mistakes in cryptos as everybody knows are very very costly right so so we are addressing all these issues in the wallet and as we move into the platform as well as in our SDK when we are going to release it so that people can really have a very very simple way to integrate to our platform so we can really become an alternative that is viable and sustainable and and and, and good for the world Now, sounds very good. Thank you for much for your time and all the best uh, with the, the, this developing this nice ecosystem. Thanks so much.